All right, everybody, I'm back. Sorry. You don't even know that I was gone, but I was. I'm trying to tell you. All right, here we go. So I have a bunch of friends that are still in, currently in prison. Sorry. They call me every Saturday morning. One of them does. Ah. All right, guys, here we go. Now, look. You're going to see. Look at this. Holy shit, dude. Clean your table up, son. Oh, man, look at this. Shit's everywhere. Dab rigs. Shit's fucking... All right, listen. How you guys doing, huh? Oh, man. Saturday. No, it's not. It's Friday. Uh, all right, I'm going to call back that guy today. You know, figured his baby... Uh, he had his baby. He had a baby girl. It was like Tuesday or whatever. Alright. Got my clean rig. Seems like no matter what I do, when I smoke flour, which I'm not doing anymore, by the way. I'm just going to vape it. I'm going to show you why. Um, it gets a funky smell. Like, I cleaned it with alcohol. I cleaned it with fucking, you know, different clean solutions, whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this little review. So... You guys know the current situation in my life, current state of affairs, right? Current state of affairs is, and technically, as you can see, Friday morning at 8 o'clock. And I'm at work, right? Where am I at work? I'm at my house. I'm not working, but I wish this was my job, truthfully. Almost there. So yeah, I'm going to do some flower reviews. How about a little flower review action? All right, so look, I got a little bit of money left. Like I said, I got 300 bucks left, whatever. They owe me a bunch. I keep talking about this because it's on the forefront of my brain. Like, damn it, man. I hope they pay me. Don't make me, I don't want to have to take these idiots to court. Please don't, I don't want to take you to court for what you owe me that is rightfully mine. It's just the money that I, that I made while I worked for you. <clears throat> anyway. That said, we're cutting back a little bit in the concentrates. Don't worry. Still making my capsules. I spoke to the wife. But what we are going to do is, you know, check out my bag. Washed and shrunk. <laughs> uh oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Aha. Aha! Tonight me feel like burn some hush. All right, here we go. Sorry, guys. Yo, did you see my face? I was like, oh no, I got robbed. Okay. Bill must push. Okay, here we go. Cherry diesel. I gotta stop saying it. okay. Fucking idiot. All right. I got butter cookies. I got cherry diesel. We're not getting into them right now. Right now we're getting into this. Devils. Lemons. Devil's lemons. Oh, I really want some of this. Yo, love. Never had it before. I love it. All right, so I looked, I searched, I researched, I googled, I did. I cannot find Devil's lemons. Online. The lineage. So, I'm going to hit you with this. It's a hybrid. Merce is the first turp at 1%. Carophylline is at 3 tenths. And Piety is at 2 tenths. So, we got 1.5, almost 1.6% turps. The THC is at 30, 3, sorry, excuse me, 4 tenths of a percent of THC. The THCA is 24.48. 28, sorry. CBG is 0.29. CBGA is 0.68. All right. Total. Total's coming in at 25.6. Oh, uh, sadly. This has this. Let me let, let me let it breathe for a second. Let me just weigh it. Let it breathe before I give you a good. All right, we're coming in at 1.09. Okay, 
Now, devil's lettuce. It's got it. I have to say it. Still got a hay smell. I mean, I can't. Yeah, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. All right, let me do this. My stupid face. God, come on. Like, I, I, th there needs to be some kind of like, hey, hey, camera, pick up this. All right, flower, super good. Um, I can't find the lineage on this, but judging by the bud structure and the syrup content, I'm gonna go with it's an endocalinian hybrid. Um, but yeah, I saw it and I just was like, man, I haven't had this one before. This one might be awesome. So I have no idea. I don't even know what the lineage is, like I said. All right. So let's go in with three tenths. I'm going to go in three tenths. I like using my scale when I weigh out my flour. Um, I feel like these packs do something. They absorb terps or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. But you can... It's, it's hard to describe. You guys know what I'm talking about. So here we got my clean rig. My clean banger. A.K.A. my vaporizer. So like I said. This is my wake and bake. By the way. Don't know if you can tell. But I'm super like... This is me. First thing in the morning. Here we go. Um, you know... So, I'm breaking this up by hand, which you shouldn't do. But the reason why I like breaking my weed up with hand, by hand is because I just love it, man. I love the feel. I love the smell. And you really get appreciation for the turp profile after it's been broken up and, you know, in your hand. Backing down. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great Great fry ye fry ye fry ye fry ye oh ye fry ye oh ye come on it's fry ye <laughs> so yeah just filling this dude up probably overfilling it but yeah this stuff by the way hold on right there you go super sticky old school right I like that. I say old school because, you know, dudes used to pick their buds before they were fully cured. And, you know, all that. And then you get it like, man, it's so sticky. But, like, not even ready to go. Wouldn't smoke. Fucking, yeah. Those were the days. No more. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Lemons. Devil's. Devil's lemons. Devil's lemons. Wake and bake. Sesh. See what this is hitting for, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Get him to glow, glow him up now. Now glow him. There we go. You gotta watch with it. Sometimes it gets odd enough to where it'll fucking ignite it. Ugh. It's nice. Ooh. Definitely like sweet. Yeah, sweet lemons. I'm just going to go with that. You know, it sucks, right? When, when you first open something, it smells like hay. It does. 
All right, so the taste, like I said, are like sweet, super citrusy, lemony, definitely lemon, citrus, pine. Yeah, that's how I do it. Look at that. 100% vaporizer. Now, <laughs> yeah, that's super good. I really wish I knew the lineage on this. I looked, man. I really did. It's like a sweet lemon, man. Like a lemon head. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a lemon head after you suck off all the sour shit. <clears throat> and weed, obviously. I'm vaping it. Yeah. If it was an oil, it wouldn't taste like that. It's got that. <coughs> oh. All right. Definitely feeling it. <coughs> oh, man. I apologize. I don't like often like that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even take my capsules yet. Absolutely nothing. This is it right here. This is just... It's been 12 hours. Alright, now that one... That was a straight... Now I see... <clears throat> it's like a funky lemon. That one there was. Shout out to Clout. These tweezers come in handy when you're trying to compress <clears throat> my weed down to get the rest of it vaporized. <clears throat> Cheers. Pretty much dead at this point. <clears throat> Let me go back in one more time. Really get around the edges too. <clears throat> I like doing it this way. Um, you know, some people bust my balls about this. Like, ah, oh, da, da, da. Well, you know, technically in Pennsylvania. Oop, oop. Technically in Pennsylvania, I can't smoke flour, right? So, what I'm doing is, I'm vaping the fuck out of it. Three tenths. All this smoke out of three tenths. Think about that for a second. Try to roll a joint with three tenths. <clears throat> Go ahead, I dare you. Or a bong rip at three tenths. One, one bong rip. Just saying. This is the most efficient way. Ha, ha, ha. 
<clears throat> and now at this point, I think we're just burning. Come on, get out of there. <clears throat> now there's downfalls, as you can see. <clears throat> this is one of them. Stuff will get inside your banger. <clears throat> You're going to have this like almost ashy <coughs> consistency. Um, I'm just saying, listen, at this point in my life, at every point in my life, <coughs> I only do fat dabs because I saved a reclaim. There's no waste. All right. Now, that said, I want to dump this out because <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, but it's still kind of vaping or smoking. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the type of high this is, trust me. <clears throat> I just want to collect myself here. All right. Now, um, definitely vaping. A couple of things I'm going to notice about vaping flour before I even get into my review of this. <clears throat> vaping flour through a water <clears throat> filtration system um, probably is the cleanest um, compared to oil, dabbing, compared to smoking. <clears throat> Another reason I say it is because it's got the least amount of residue left in this. Now, I cleaned this out right before. You guys saw it. I think, yeah, I, I added the water to it. This thing was clean. <clears throat> Alcohol, 99% isopropyl <clears throat> and salt. And I, right? Okay, let's make sure this isn't hot as fuck. I want to dump this out. Um, <clears throat> onto something. Fuck it. Come back here. Get back here! I don't want back hair. Okay. Well, this is still hot, but yeah, that's what I thought. So this is <clears throat> pretty much <clears throat> as combusted <coughs> not combusted combusted you could get um I mean this shit looks like you could use it for tattooing but I'm gonna say this it's it's like charcoal it's not ash maybe I'll make tattoo ink out of this but you see it <clears throat> All right, so there's that. <clears throat> now, now the effects on this. Okay, so the effects on this are super uplifting. This is in the way. Super uplifting. Um, there's there's a good, not so much frontal lobe, but like all around <clears throat> head buzz. Um, ooh, I might crack my back. Let's see if I can crack my back. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. So, <clears throat> that's a beautiful thing. When my back can crack, I tell you, there's nothing greater than that. That's absolutely... Dude, when it doesn't crack, it's very scary. And when I can crack it, it's awesome. Um, <clears throat> so, this... Now, listen, that was three tenths. Go do the math on it. Let me do some quick math. Uh, <clears throat> let's just say this was about 200 milligrams of THC. So, if that's the case, it's 250. So, I'm just doing the conversion real quick. <clears throat> like, two, roughly 200 milligrams. All right. So... Two, that's 20, 20 milligrams per tenth, right? Now, if you're doing the math with me, I just vaped 60 milligrams of THC to the face. Three tenths. So, now, I will say this. Vaping, I like better because... <clears throat> now, I'm getting that. Sorry, let me focus. I'm saying that, 60 milligrams. Because, A, when you vape your flower, do you pay attention to how much milligrams it is? I don't know if you do, but if you do, 
<clears throat> if you keep your, your milligram intake the same throughout the day and you switch up your strains, sometimes it has to be daily, honestly. Sometimes you have to. If you do that, you don't have to take a tolerance break. Um, and you also keep your spending in check and you keep your tolerance in check, meaning your uh, milligrams that you need to feel relief. Once you find that, that level of relief that you're cool with and you're like, like me, is 100 milligrams, you know, for the daytime and then a nice 50 shot at night to sleep. That's what I do. Um, I do my 100 for the day and then um, my capsules and I usually do some some like type of reclaim edible for night, 50 milligrams for sleep. Knocks me out, kills my pain. I wake up feeling, you know, <clears throat> I feel refreshed. I'm ready to go, all that. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I'll fuck around. Um, so yeah, so there's that. That's that's a thing. Um, that was my first dose in the morning. I haven't had any, no dabs, no capsules, nothing. Um, I drank a protein shake and a bottle of water and that was it. Uh, I've been talking to my buddy Everett. What's up, buddy? Uh, been talking to him. He's at work, so, you know, I'm taking my shits in the morning. Me and him fucking text back and forth. Instagram. If you guys ever want to fuck around, man, check me out on Instagram. But anyway, um, same thing, ex conjo So, that said, that's 60 milligrams. I'm going to go ahead and say probably about 40 of that, <clears throat> right? Just whatever. <clears throat> Two thirds. I got. Um, so, you know, but it's good to just know, 60 milligrams, all right, this is 60 milligrams. Now, smoking it versus vaping it. Smoking it, obviously, um, you know, there's a, there is a difference. I'm just going to say it. I don't know if it's good or bad, um, but I know if I smoke it, I get higher. <clears throat> but I also cough, and I have a weird taste in my mouth, and fucking blah, 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 blah. Like, for me, the negative outweigh the positive. That's why I don't do it no more. Um, you guys, you know, you've seen me in the past, and, you know, there you go. Um, but now that you can just vape everything, it's just heat. That's it. Think about it. It's just heat. <clears throat> heat, um, vaporizes the terps and the THC and the CBD and the CBG, all the compounds in it, and then you just inhale it. So you can do that in your banger. You can do it in your vaporizer. You can do whatever. I just like doing it in my banger because it's easier for me to clean, control, all that. I can see what's going on. Um, I already have it. I don't have to buy a separate one. You know, um, yes, I will walk around outside with a with a rig, um, one of my rigs, and a freaking thing, and I, a torch, and I will vaporize weed when they go and say, you know, it's legal in the state. Um, okay, so to recap again, the effects are, um, so I'm not hungry either. It has not induced any kind of hunger. Now, it could be I drank my protein shake. But I feel like if it does, it will just trigger hunger regardless. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. The munchies. None of that going on. <clears throat> First and foremost. Secondly, um, focused. Brain's still going, though. Um, so, as far as, like, maybe, like, ADHD might exacerbate it. also might um, soothe it. Because it's making me focus still on task. Um, I'm also aware of, you know everything um nothing's louder nothing's brighter sensory wise <clears throat> like this is one you could drive on and i say that because when they become psychedelic that's when i say i wouldn't drive right when i partake in anything and i'm like man this is psychedelic because it's mind altering okay that's honestly it is it is mind altering when it's psychedelic. And it might be a little bit, you know, like sometimes it'll be vibrant colors. Sometimes it'll be sounds. Sometimes it'll be both. But then sometimes, it, you know, your brain, you just can't think right. You can't drive when you're doing that. I mean, there are cannabis related deaths. Let's not, you know, some fucking assholes all fucked up on edible driving. It kicks in. They forget they took it and they just fucking crash and die. Sad but true. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if that's a true case, but I theoretically could see that happening. I've, Yes. All right, so there's that. It's not, you know, it's not psychoactive in the fact of psychedelics wise. Like, it's not, you know, enhancing or altering my state, my, my you know, this reality, um, what, what everybody calls reality. <clears throat> um, definitely am relaxed, okay? Um, I'm feeling calmer as this, 
as this video is going on, I'm getting more of a sense of calm and relief. Um, my anxiety has decreased a lot. Um, you know, about like the thoughts about, you know, those crazy thoughts, like, you don't have a fucking job, you're a bum, like you're going to fucking fuck up, you're never going to work again. There's like stupid shit. I don't know about you guys, but that's, I beat myself up, man. That shit just like this. It's just, I feel like somebody's going like this side of my head <clears throat> all day long. I tell my wife all the time, like, babe, I feel like somebody's just fucking my, like my brain hurts. Because like, you're a piece of shit. You're a fuck up. You're a scumbag. You're never going to be nothing. You're a fucking asshole. Nobody likes you. Fuck you. Just give up. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. <clears throat> right? All these insane thoughts that, like, literally just... <clears throat> and I'm, I, I, I feel your pain. If you suffer from this fucking crazy shit that goes on inside my head, I feel your pain. That said, marijuana alleviates it. Cannabis stops it. So. <sighs> right? I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm collective. Um, I'm in a place I need to be at. <clears throat> I'm looking, I keep looking over here. It's got CBG. Um, I've also found that CBG is my friend. Um, CBG, Jess. And MERS. CBG and MERS. Right? <clears throat> Still have a little bit of back pain. <clears throat> but but can stretch. And that's, that's something that most people can't do. Ooh. But yeah, back is tight. <clears throat> um, so yeah. So all in all, across the board, I'm going to say this. Whatever you're doing, Terrapin, I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Some of your, some of your bud, some of your flower, you guys knock out of the park with the, <clears throat> the look, feel, smell, all of it, all of it. Okay, all pillars of what I would consider to be a perfect flower, right? The presentation, um, you know, colors to everything, the effects. Sour tangy is one. Sour tangy is one that to me is like. One of their best flowers, <clears throat> as far as presentation goes. It's very floral. It's the smells. You know, you have a good aroma to it. <clears throat> there's a, there's a lot of them, but that's the one to me that no matter what, throughout all these changing of packs and hydration issues. Now I will say this: with these 62%, here's what you're getting. You're getting good quality sticky buds. But at 62%, I feel like you're going to lose. You're going to, that aroma is not going to be there that we all want. Um, not a, not right away. So what I like to do is this, and I'll tell you this. Um, so I know you're going to be like, what? But I like to take this out. Like this thing smells like hay. Legit, like hay, like I'm at a fucking county fair and I'm walking through and there's cows and they're eating hay and I pick it up. That's what I smell. <clears throat> um, so I take these out. Um, and I had a bag of them somewhere. Oh, man, next stuff. But, um, but yeah. So I let them sit out just like this in my little medicine cabinet I showed you guys. It's in the dark place. It's about, about 55 to 60 degrees down here at any given time. Um, basement, right? Underground. Right. So, all that said, this is, uh, I'll do that and I'll let it dry out a little bit, cure up. Uh, sorry, fucking nose itching. Let it, let it cure up and what will happen is uh, it'll bring the, the turp profile back out. So I'll get a good, you know, that's going to be, it takes like a week or two. <clears throat> it also might not make it that long since, you know, money's tight and um, medicine is also tight. So, you know. But there you go, three tenths. I, I suggest you get a scale if you're on a, if you're on a budget like I am, <clears throat> you know, man, and you want to be precise about dosing, and you're taking this as a serious, like medical <clears throat> adventure as I do. I like to know my dosing. I like to keep track of my dosing. It's my biggest thing. It's why I'm like so just adamant about telling everybody, um, <clears throat> you know, know your doses. No dose, 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 dose. You know, terp, terp, terp. Dose, dose, dose. Terp, dose, terp, dose. Dose terp, dosey terpy, terpy dosey, dosey terp, terp and dose. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, this is great. This definitely um, will some nerve pain. It'll it'll definitely null that. 
um, <clears throat> dull it, sorry, null it. It'll dull it, um, almost alleviate it. Uh, and it allowed me to stretch. It loosened me up enough to where stretch. That's that mercy, man. It uh, relaxes you. <clears throat> so know your terps, obviously. Um, I'm relaxed. I'm feeling good. I'm showing. <clears throat> I'm almost too relaxed. I got shit to do today. So today we're filing the OSHA paperwork. We're filing the federal tax fraud paperwork. Um, and we're going down at the pawn shop. Getting rid of um, a lot of stuff. Been holding on to for, you know, whatever. So purging. Uh, maybe make a trip to a comic book store if I can find one. I don't even know if they still have those. <clears throat> um, but these comics might be worthless. They might be something. I have comics from the 60s. So uh, I'll hold off on those. Any of you guys know anything about comics, whatever, if you want them, let me know. Um, I'm not a dick, right? I mean, I got, from what I could find, like off like SD and like the other things, I got a couple hundred bucks worth. But then again, a couple of them might be worth more. I don't know. But that's just what I was, you know, what people are asking. <clears throat> I don't know what the value of them is. Um, you know, if you look at the value of them, I probably got like 40 or 50 bucks just in, you know, whatever. A couple of them are like 15 cents. One's fucking 12 cents, I think. Yeah, 12 cents. Uh, I think that's the uh, Captain America one, actually, from 64. I think it is. It might be 74, I, I, but it's 12 cents. Uh, yeah, man, like, Legit, like old school ones like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that today. So <clears throat> I'll have my I'll have my vape with me. Um, you know, wife's selling her gun today too. She doesn't shoot it, doesn't need it. I'm a felon, can't have it. So we're doing that. <clears throat> I'm gonna also uh, call this call up John and see what's up with him, see what he's doing. <clears throat> you know, uh, maybe go to work on Monday. Um, you know, might not though. I don't know. Might just keep putting applications. You know, um, talked to some people at Terra Vida yesterday, and they told me, like, don't give up, keep keep applying. Um, a lot of the people that work there, would, they said they, they would love for me to work with them. That being said, like, they don't have pool, apparently. So I was like, well, can't you guys do something? I mean, who hires? Who does the hiring? Let me let me shake their hand. Let me talk to them about some cannabis. Right? Let me, let me do that. Um... You know, that's, I don't know, in a perfect world, that's how shit would work, right? They're like, yo, I know this guy, you need to hire him. He puts his stuff in, his paperwork's in there. You really, this is the guy, like, I understand you have a lot of guys, but this is the guy. This is the guy that will work 12 hours a day, seven days a week, <clears throat> if need be. Well, doesn't like doing it, but will. Company man. Also, will will take orders like the best champ, legit. Like a loyal puppy dog, you know? Ring the bell. I come back for food, right? I could be that guy. Or I could also be the guy that thinks and, and innovates and changes. But I can also be the guy that stocks shelves and just whatever. So at the end of the day, I just want to just get make enough money so I can make videos and put out good information to the world. That's it. That's why I need money. So I can keep doing this for everybody. That's it. That's my purpose in life is to help people. And I hope, and I, I know, I know for a fact because people have told me, you have helped me. You have helped me in my life. And that just adds validity to what I'm doing. That said, though, I need a job because my, my wife can't fund this. And I won't let her. Even though she says she wants to at times. Like, I'll help you, whatever. To... Nope. Nope. I need to do this on my own. Now, that said, hey, man, I'm always down for help. <laughs> right? I just don't want her funding it. You know? Maybe it's somebody else. But just not my wife. Not my wife. An angel investor. Now, that would be dope. They have those, right? People just give you money so you can follow and pursue your dreams. That would be awesome, man. Yeah, that'd be dope. I just started to think about it. Like, if one day I just woke up, like, $50,000 in my bank account. Like, ah. Oh. Dude, every day I can do, like, I can start buying. Then I could, like, buy some, like, some of these fucked up ass products. I see people getting ripped off. Like, fucked up ass shit. Like, think about this. Especially if you're sitting at home. I'm just going to say this to you. I know this is a long ass video. But, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from anybody's hustle or anything. I'm just saying, if you don't personally have the money to buy something and it takes you, you have to save for it. Think about this. You have to save for something. I get it. So I mean, it's something you really love. So if you're saving for something and then you get it and you use it and it fucking breaks, that is heartbreaking. People kill themselves over shit like this. So that's why I want to um, 
If like, you know, if I had like the whatever. Think about this. Just, I don't know. Bear with me. I'm super lit. And my rant is crazy. Why would you spend... Just hear me out. This comes just like this. For $36. 40 bucks. 40 bucks to your door. Okay? With this. You can put flour in here. Heat this dude up. You saw me do it. You watched me do it. I mean, you see I'm lit. You see... I'm lit. You see the effects. I use three tents. I have a scale I bought from Amazon for like 20 bucks. I have my rig I got from Hemper for 40 bucks. 60 bucks. I have my torch I got from Amazon for like 20 bucks. So we're at 80 bucks. <clears throat> 80 bucks. Okay. You don't need the scale. So you could be at 60 bucks. And you don't need this torch. You can get this guy at Walmart for cheap 10 bucks. Right. You can also get a little janky one. Just saying. 40 bucks. Now this is what you have for 40 bucks. Okay. And you don't have to. You can go to. Um, I got my, my glass. With banger. Just like this. This exact setup. Just with this janky ass banger. Which I'm not saying it's janky. But it's. Or whatever. is what they come with. This is your standard free banger. I got this for like 30 bucks. Maybe 40 bucks. So. It's out there. You can also go on Amazon. You can go on Amazon. You guys see me, right? Cheap glass. Six dollars. Okay, so here's my point. I see these products that people buy and they save up money and they talk about, man, they're so hype. So hype about to buy my fucking John. Been saving up for like a year, son. Yeah, whatever, right? I don't know. Just super hype, like, and I see it, like, I can tell, like, they're so excited. Like, they're truthfully, like, super excited. Like, oh, my God, I can't wait for this, John. Boom. And I know. And then you get it, and, and like, out the box, it don't even work. Yo, how heartbreaking is that? How fucking sad is that? People kill themselves. This is what I'm saying to you. People fucking end their lives over that, right there, that moment. You fucking waited for everything, and then you get it, and this is it, this? Boom! Done. It's fucked up. I know, I'm not sitting here, don't, I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay. But that's the type of shit that, like, fucks people up. So if I can stop that, is my point. So look, so going back to my hundred, my $50,000, my vision. I just wake up, I got 50 grand, and I'm currently unemployed, right? Whatever, that's just a number, I like that number. $50,000 is a nice number in my head, I like the number 50 anyway. So $50,000, right? Whatever. I just wake up with a fuck ton of money. It doesn't matter what it is. Somebody just put money in my account in this scenario. Boom. Now I can buy this John that I'm talking about. And I can review it. And I can keep reviewing it and using it. And I'll compare it to this. You know, I'll compare them back and forth to my my $6 rig to my $200, $400 rig. I'm saying, I see people do that, man. You know, or, or like you got to buy replaceable coils. I gotta buy a replaceable coil. Are you fucking serious right now? Think about this. You don't ever gotta buy this replacement? Never. Not never. Never. As long as you don't break it, don't be a dickhead and just keep it on your table on a nice mat. The only thing you gotta buy is refillable butane. <clears throat> if you go to Walmart and you get the propane tank, you can get the propane for like $2. You know, and it's like a month. <laughs> you know? Just going to say, I just want to point that out. Um, that's why I love doing this. That's why I want to keep doing this. And, in, in, you know, ultimately, I feel like that's what people need to be doing on Earth right now. We need to be looking out for each other and taking care of each other and helping each other. You know, if you know something, like, right? You know, Everett, man, we fucking always going back and forth. He's always telling me stuff. I'm telling him stuff. Like, we're teaching each other. That's what humans need to be doing, not hoarding knowledge or trying to fuck the next one, not even in a cool sense, because that word is a negative. Fuck the shit out of you now. Trying to scumbag you for money. Listen, make a product that's worth my money and I'll give it to you. But I need to see a review on it first. And where do you do that at, right? Oh, well. Anyway, there you go. There's a full review, a full 40-minute review. If you guys enjoy your Friday, I got to go find gainful employment. Or, hey, any of you guys are rich out there and just want to hit me up and just keep feeding this machine so I can keep making awesome reviews for people, let me know. That would be cool, right? 
I'm not too proud to say that. I would literally do that because that would be my job. Yes. Like, well, what was your, what's your job title? I'm a paid reviewer. What's that mean? People pay me to do reviews. What, what do you mean? Watch my channel. Yeah, it's because it's all information. It's good truth. There's a lot of channels out there on earth. I'm not going to take anything away from anybody. I just feel like mine's the best. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Johnny, I love you.